everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mimi and today we're going to be answering the question of should you be training weights? So this video is for you girls who aren't sure if weights training is for you. I'm going to be talking all about why it's so beneficial, how you can get started and what to think about and how to build confidence on the gym floor. So without making you wait around any longer, let's jump into it. Okay, I'm gonna make an assumption right now and say that one of the primary goals for us girls when we go to workout is that we want to lean down and tone up. If I'm right about this, let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up. A big misconception a lot of girls have is they think that cardio is the key to fat loss and getting a toned physique, or they think that training weights is gonna make you look like this. Now I'm not saying that cardio isn't important, but I am going to say that it will only take you so far if becoming more toned is your goal. And as for looking like that, well, let me just tell you right now that women's hormones simply don't allow for this to happen overnight. It would take an extremely large amount of hard work and commitment to ever achieve this. Essentially to become more toned, you need to build your muscles and then decrease body fat to reveal them. So fat loss is achieved by being in a calorie deficit, meaning consuming less calories than what you burn. And whilst cardio will burn calories whilst you're actually training, building muscle will increase the rate at which your body burns calories at rest. Resistance training has so many benefits. So aside from increasing your body's ability to burn fat, it also improves bone density and reduces the risk of disease. It reduces your cortisol or stress levels. It improves confidence. It increases your strength and helps you to build lean muscle mass. And it assists in improving your functional training. And this is just to name a few. Now, what to do and how to get started. Trust me when I say that I know how daunting and overwhelming it can feel if you're just getting started. So here are some of my top tips if you're a beginner. My biggest piece of advice is to start simple and really focus on developing your technique and form. Don't get ahead of yourself and try and lift ridiculously heavy weights just to get results quicker. If you do this, chances are you're gonna injure yourself and or develop incorrect technique, which you just, you just don't wanna be doing that from the beginning of your resistance training journey. My second piece of advice is to focus on compound movements or exercises. So compound movements are those which incorporate multiple joints and more than one muscle group. They burn more calories because more muscles are working and burning energy and a calorie is just a unit of energy. They allow you to lift heavier and they also improve your core strength because these kinds of exercises require a lot of stabilization through your core. Here are some examples of the most common compound exercises. Okay, so first up we have bench press. So this works your pecs or chest muscles, your triceps or back of your arms, your anterior deltoids or shoulder muscles, and your back. So keeping the weight directly over your chest, bringing your elbows down by your side and pushing straight back up. Next is a deadlift. So this works your glutes or your bum, your hamstrings or back of your legs, your inner thighs and your back. So keeping the bar close to your legs, coming up, squeezing your booty at the top. Next, we have a squat. So again, this is working your glutes, hamstrings, quads, or the front of your legs, your lower back, and your core. So keeping your weight directly over your knees, coming all the way down and up, squeezing your bum at the top. Okay, we then have a leg press. So leg press works your quads, your glutes, and your calves. So when you're coming down, you wanna get as close to the board as you can, pushing all the way up, careful not to lock your knees at the top. Okay, next we have a bent over row. So this is gonna be working your lats and your back. So keeping your back nice and flat, sucking your tummy in, engaging your core, pulling the weight directly up towards your belly button. Okay, next up is standing overhead press. So this is working your arms and your shoulders. So this way it was a little bit heavier, could have gone a bit lighter, but from your chest, pushing all the way up, make sure you suck your tummy in and keep your core engaged as the weight is over your head. Lastly, we have lunges. So this is working your glutes, hamstrings, quads, calves, core and lower back. So this is all legs and booty, as well with core and back to keep you stabilized throughout the movement. It is really essential that you develop a good foundation with these exercises, after which you can move on to isolation exercises, such as a bicep curl, where you're only using the one muscle. Now, when you're thinking of designing your workout, I recommend starting with full body workouts. 
So these kinds of workouts include a push movement, so for example, a bench press, a pull movement, for example, a seated cable row, a hinge movement, so a deadlift, something where you're hinging at your hips, a lunge movement, for example, walking lunges, and a squat. For building muscle, I would aim to do two to three sets of 10 to 15 reps within each set. And getting started, I would recommend three days per week. So you're giving yourself a day of recovery in between. On those recovery days or rest days, I like to do a HIIT session. So, you know, a high intensity cardio session or even just a 45 minute walk. Resistance training can be done using kettlebells, barbells, dumbbells, and so on and your own body weight. Resistance training can be done with kettlebells, barbells, dumbbells, and so on, and your own body weight. Remember to increase your load every week, but only by a small amount. For example, if you're getting through all of your reps and sets and you feel like you're not really working that hard, then next week, add an increment of weight. Progressively overloading is essential for improvement and results. Now, it is no secret that walking into the weight section full of big, sweaty, grunting boys can be intimidating. And sadly, a lot of girls actually avoid picking up weights at all for this very reason. And I want you to have the confidence that you need to experience the many benefits of weights training. So here are my top tips for increasing confidence in the gym. Tip number one is to have a training buddy. If you have a friend who has some experience or who wants to get started too, train together. Not only is this gonna make you feel more comfortable, but your training partner can also make sure you're using the correct technique and help you get into and out of your lifting position. Tip number two is to remember that everyone once started where you are. It is literally a fact that every single person in that gym had a day one. A day where they didn't really know what they were doing and where they also felt scared and intimidated. So they'll know what it's like for you. Tip number three is to know that everyone is way too busy focusing on themselves to honestly care about what you're doing. I know that when you walk into the weight section of the gym, it feels like all eyes are on you, but trust me, everyone's eyes are on themselves in the mirror. Tip number four is to have a good workout playlist. So you want music that is gonna make you feel excited and confident. I have a workout playlist that I listen to every time I go to train, and it always makes me feel confident and just in the zone. And tip number five is to do a power pose before training. Now I know a lot of you are probably gonna laugh at this, but studies have literally shown that getting into a power pose, so for example, standing with your hands on your hips and your feet shoulder width apart, your chest out and your head up for about one minute can genuinely increase self-confidence before a nerve wracking situation. And I've done this myself, so I can tell you that it actually works. So next time you go to the gym, try it in the locker room, even go into the change room or go into the toilet cubicle if you have to. So the answer to should you be training weights is yes, you should. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and that it's helped you and given you some insight into how to get started with weights. If it has, definitely click subscribe. And I would love to hear from you to hear about what you're doing with your training and your experience with weights. So comment down below or you can reach out to me on my Instagram at Mimi Watts. As always, take care of yourself, friends. Have a beautiful week and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye.